You're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. What's going on? You locked in with the innovators YouTube. You already know I got the best interviews right here, man. Shout out to my sponsor, St. Eyes Blunts. Make sure to get you one of those. You already know who I got in here, man. I got one of the hottest, man. I got Phoenix flexing in the studio. How you doing, oh, bro? Man, live and direct. I'm feeling good, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. First, I want to say it's a pleasure and a blessing to have you man, here. I appreciate you. Um, to start off, I got to ask you because it's a hot topic. How you feel about the coronavirus? Are you going to take the, uh, the uh, what's this shit called? The, the vaccine? Little, the, 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 yeah, the vaccine. Man, I'm going to f*** around and wait a little minute. I'm going to see what happens to y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whoever's going to take that, I'm going to see what happens to them. I'll be in the crib, so I'd have been working. I'll be in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't popping out just yet. When everything back open, then we back in motion, though. How do you feel about like uh, the impact coronavirus will have on the music industry? You think? I mean, you just did a show recently, though, right? Yeah, but it wasn't like no show, it was, like some little janky shit. Oh, okay. You know, you know what I'm saying? Do you think it'll go back to like normal, like with Rolling yeah. Louds? Hell and, like... no. Hell no. <laughs> I was about to say, I we when I was still in the group, we had spent the last uh, like two years touring though, so I was already really over it. Like ready to chill out a little hell bit. Hell yeah, my mom. I'm so happy to be home. <laughs> I, I was thinking about to when I met you for the first time was I was with my, uh, my broker Polo. We was at uh, what's that uh, dude that uh, Zach, the creator of FTP. Oh, That's yeah. when I first that met video you. So out there on it, it, it was good. It was it's good for things to come full circle. You know what I mean? Um, Small world. Yeah. Can you, can you tell me how you feel about it? Like, we've been seeing like a lot of uh, police brutality shit. Is that something that you've experienced in your life? And how do you feel about it? Oh uh, yeah, man. Shit, that shit been going on. I think I was like seventeen. I got my teeth knocked out by the cops. Wow. Uh, it was at some the good. It was out of Goodwill on Sunset, like four in the morning. I was coming home with my homie. Uh, I, think I was with my homie Drone. I been with the homie Awful, rest in peace. And we was like a couple of bitches and shit. And uh, yeah, like one of the, we hear one of the bitches. Yeah, watch, watch out, watch out. We we look around, we're out of nowhere. We didn't even do nothing. Like they was like setting up like the I guess they're like the marathon run type yeah. shit. So they was just clearing the streets off. Just stumbled upon us. They was like tripping on the homie and shit, saying he did some shit he ain't even do. Then the niggas pulled me aside, bro, and they like took me to like the little cut, like the the opening of where like the goodwill's at. It was two doors like that. Yeah. Fucking uh, niggas started fucking me up, bro. Like about, no reason. Maced me some other shit, bro. That's crazy no as hell. No fucking reason. That, that shit was really crazy. Nah, that's crazy as hell. Um, how did you grow up? Uh, were your parents around? Like, what was it like? Uh, so I I grew up with my pops for the most part. You know what I'm saying. Um, at first, at first I was kind of going back and forth. You know what I'm saying. I'm not gonna get too into too much into it. But you know what I'm saying. My mom went. Uh, I really know my mama like that since I was like probably shit like five. You know what I'm saying. It was like a lot of drugs and shit in the picture. You yeah. know what I'm saying. So like um, it was just kind. I got like a really cloudy vi like memory of my child. I don't really remember my childhood too well. Yeah. But uh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit, my pops ended up doing his thing. He got right, you know what I'm saying? So uh, he did what he could do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never really, like, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he kept it he was straight. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It wasn't too bad. It wasn't, wasn't like a silver spoon bring, yeah. upbringing or nothing. But you know what I'm yeah. saying? My pops did what he could do, you know what I'm saying? So I respect him for that. Where, where did you grow up exactly out here? Uh, I bounced around all over the place. Uh, Downey, Huntington Park. uh like West LA, like yeah. off of Adams and shit, uh, East Hollywood. That was, now, now I just do what I do. I do yeah. I go where I want to go now, but you know what I'm saying? I, I, I did my fair share of little different places and shit. Yeah. What is your ethnicity? I'm black man, but black and Mexican. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm immediately right. to ask you. I'm like, I don't I'm, know. <laughs> I'm a little, little bit of Polish too. My For last, real? My last name, Rypinski. Oh, like okay. Polish last oh, that's name. Crazy. Oh, that's crazy. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. Um, how do you feel about your respect as an artist just like in, in LA right now? Mm, well, it's a hella different. Like I'm I'm like coming it's like a whole different uh stage I'm in right now. So basically, uh as y'all know, you know what I'm saying, I was in uh, the group Shoreline Mafia, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I started that shit, me and bro started that shit some years back, you know what I'm saying? Shout out uh, you know what I'm saying, everything we did, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I already had a hell of respect as that. We was we was one of the biggest, if not For the sure. biggest group out here. You know what I'm saying? We For had sure. made the most noise more than anybody had done in a, in a long ass time. So yeah. uh, we had done our thing. But, uh, you know what I'm saying, a series of unfortunate events, you know what I'm saying? Now we at where we at now. And uh, I'm putting my foot down like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm an individual. So nobody 
like has like really seen what I can do or what I'm capable of as myself or yeah. what my music is like as myself. So yeah. now, you know what I'm saying? It's time for me to tell my own story, lay my own groundwork, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let niggas know, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Do you, do you feel like you have to kind of reinvent yourself in a sense as like a I solo mean, artist now? In a way, but not really. I mean, niggas know what type of time I'm on, bro. Like, yeah. niggas know me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just be doing the same shit I was doing, but now it's like a... It's more of like a spotlight on myself and what I got going on rather than just being a, like a chess piece. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. now now I'm in control of what I got going on and I it, damn near I'm more happy I'm happier. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy I'm out that situation. I'm happy I'm like in control, got all my creative control, like uh I'm in charge of my own destiny, you know what I mean? And I people gonna fuck with me for me and respect me for me. I'm mama's a nigga, that's what that's what a nigga really want, you know what I mean? Yeah. Why do you say that you're happier now? Uh, shit, just like, I felt like shit just wasn't really working out for me the way it, like, should have been working out for me in the group, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I, I didn't, like, sacrifice a lot, I didn't put my, you know what I'm saying, I was working for the greater good of the group, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't pointing fingers at nobody, I just assumed everybody was on the same page to get the group to that next level and get it as big as, as it should have been, and then, like, everybody, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's human nature, everybody got ulterior motives and everybody want to do what's best for themselves at the end of the day yeah. and me i was damn near probably just being too i was young so I, maybe i was a little younger when we first started so maybe i was just being naive or too good of a nigga but you know what i'm yeah. saying shit ain't always like that yeah i think um i think some i've been learning in the music industry is that like it, it it's like there's good there's solid niggas in the music industry like yeah. don't get me wrong but i feel like when 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 everything is involved with money and fame, sometimes it just get messy. Oh, mama, it changes like a motherfucker. Niggas change like a motherfucker. With, which everything, the situations change. Everything changes. Yeah, but shit, it's it's all good though. You know what I'm saying? We just keeping it going. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Sure. I, I'm glad that you that you happier right now and that you um that you that you enjoying that the the space that you in right now. Got to. Um, can you talk about the the pros and cons of being a rapper? Yeah, I mean, shit. The pros is that's a good question. Uh, there's a lot of it's like a hell. It's hella for each <laughs> one. I mean, like the pros is if you wanted to do music your whole life, you know what I'm saying. When you finally, I about to say, I, I wouldn't consider somebody a rapper unless you like at that level. You know what I'm saying. I'm yeah. like so being like at a like it's a difference between being just a rapper and then being a rapper where like that's your whole yeah, that's yeah. your whole chin dig. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, some of the pros is like. It's cool to get your music recognized, you know what I'm saying? Like, get your music appreciated for, like, what you've been working for, you know what I mean? I done been doing this since, like, man, 2012-ish, like, 2012, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, so, it feel good just to, like, you know what I'm saying, work on your craft and then get, it like, people, you know what I'm saying, end up appreciating it and shit. Yeah. That shit cool as fuck. Yeah. Uh, let me see, some more pros. I mean, shit, is anything, bro, whatever... Like you say, a perfect job is a job that you enjoy doing. You yeah. know what I mean? So if you enjoy doing what you're doing, which I do, you know what I'm saying? That's obviously a pro. Yeah. I'm trying to think of some other shit. I'm a little high. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think. It's all good. Some of the cons is like, uh, me personally, bro, I'm like a kind of like a reserved person. You know what I'm saying? I don't be like, I'm not like a super good people person. I'm not a bad people person either, but like, you know what I'm saying? I just be kind of awkward and shit. Like, yeah. hella niggas like coming up to you and shit all the time. And then I be, be a I, lot. I be hella nervous, bro. I be ready to like, you know what I'm saying? If the nigga look a certain type of way, he might just be a fan, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm be thinking he on some whole other shit, so I be ready to be on some whole di yeah. different type of time, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, th I think that's one of the, I think that to me is one of the kind of most trickiest things about being a rapper because like, you already know like what, what come with being a rapper, so it's like oh, when yeah. you see niggas, you don't really know mm -hmm. is they cool, they just a fan, or are they, they, are they on some other shit? Because it's like you always got to be on your toes type shit. I'll be ready for whatever, though. Yeah. Oh, mama. Nah, for sure. Um, I got kids and shit. I ain't going. Nah, off times, off times. Uh, can you tell me how did Shoreline Mafia form? Yeah, so uh, me and OGs, we've been uh, like homies since like back in the, like we, we was homies since back in the day. Uh, it started off like tagging and shit, really. Like we was just tagging like. Just like going out, robbing hella shit. Just being like, just in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maneuvering, you know what I'm saying? Being homeboys and shit. Um, we was already like them niggas, bro. Like everybody knew us, like knew our faces and like yeah. 
the newer like type of time we was on so we already had like that kind of like i guess like before clout was a thing we already had that pop- <laughs> we had that clout <laughs> before clout was a thing our mamas and then like uh I had did a song like in my home on my homeboy little laptop, like we recorded off a laptop. Boom, yeah. wow, threw it up. Like I think it it didn't go super crazy, but like it wasn't wasn't nobody rapping or nothing. Yeah. So it went up a little bit, and then uh, bro had I guess done a song too, and his shit was doing like the same thing. And then, like we came across each other, shit like what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like he was, like you rap? I'm so like y'all yeah. Didn't know at first. I, 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 I think we didn't know. Yeah, I, I don't think we knew. That's hella funny. And then he had like a he had a whole mic set up, and he had like a good like laptop and everything with like the, well I think it was Garage Man yeah. we was fucking with. So like we just kind of started like that. We made a song, shit that went up. Then at that time we was like thugging daily, damn near like we was, you know what I'm saying, everyday niggas type shit. So yeah. uh, we kept it going like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It was already like a group type thing we was in. We just made it like an official rap group. Yeah. How did, where did the name come from now? Uh, we would just be like, oh, we the wave, like we the waviest niggas, you know what I'm saying, yeah. like type shit. So we just trying to come up with something like incorporating the water, the ocean, oh, with like something you. like that. So we, you know what I'm got saying. That's, that's where the west where the wave started at the shoreline. You know what yeah. I mean. So that's, that's how tight. that's how we came about it. That's tight. Are you still in uh, to graffiti? Hell no. I mean, I, I might like catch a tag here and there on some like board shit. Yeah, I be draw. Actually, I be at the crib hella like drawing. Draw tagging, for real? Ta- not drawing, but what? like just tagging on yeah, shit. Yeah, that's Ugh. tight. Did mama. you ever skate? Hell yeah. Okay. I, got, I I was like a really good skater. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Like I could like I could still skate. You still oh, okay? Yeah, let me show you a little bit. <laughs> you got some tricks and shit. Well, do I? I? I got on a skateboard one time in my life ever, and I almost broke my fucking neck. I don't know I'm if sure I ever got know. back up. I'm about to drop a, a skate company, by the way. Burnt Company coming soon. That's the name of the company. Oh, that's Burnt. hard. Oh, hold on. I, I ain't even gonna oh, right I'll, I'll show you later. <laughs> I, I, I could get down. I ain't gonna lie. All right. Now, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. Um, um, can you talk about why the group specifically broke up? Is, Ooh, is there any... Um, yeah, like, I could talk about it. Fuck it. Um, shit. Uh, I say so, sometimes like part of growing is growing apart. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, not everybody is gonna be perfect and be able to operate together in like a perfect way. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Obviously, money becomes a factor at a certain point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ideas and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes like you can't you can't have you can't have there ain't no room for there's no room for two great whites or shit. There ain't yeah. no room for four great whites. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I would damn near say all of us was like our own man at the end of the day. And like you know what I'm saying, we all was our own great whites. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you can't have four of them. And niggas gonna just be button heads. So it was just a whole lot of like at the end, it was a whole lot of clash. And I would damn near say a lot of shit in my head was from the outside, like. Other outside people's opinions kind of kind of coming into, coming group, into yeah. it, and which, which fucks it up. up shit a lot of times. Yeah, bro, mamas, because shit, at, at, there was a point in time where I thought the group would have never split. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn near like uh, shit, I ain't talked to nobody besides like Rob. I mean, like Rob, like, Rob Vish is my partner for like for life. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? That's we are awesome. I got a whole another type of love and respect for that nigga. But yeah. aside from that, like, I mean, like the outsiding part of the group like yeah. just the homies and everything shit since the split you know what i'm saying i ain't heard from nobody it's like some whole like different shit now you know what i'm that's saying crazy. Like, that's oh crazy. god you know what i'm saying but shit, I best wishes to everybody, yeah. everybody and you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm already knowing we all gonna be able to go up and do our own thing you know what i'm saying because i know at the end of the day we are some talented individuals yeah. whether we a group or not you know what i mean but uh yeah you know what i'm saying it, it was a there's a whole. I could play. We could point fingers all day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't gonna do nothing. Do you think the the that y'all signing with Atlantic had anything to do with it? Uh, to be honest, I didn't even want to sign to Atlantic. I think uh, we was trying to go to Warner Brothers. Yeah. So, Matt, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? I I fuck with Atlantic and I appreciate everything that it did for us. But like you know what I'm saying? Who knows? You know if we would have went somewhere else, it could have been, been different, a yeah, different yeah. situation. Because there's all types of little back end stories to what it's like. This whole it's just like hell of like weird little politics and shit. Yeah. As as far as y'all like, are y'all still cool? Like you and OGZ, y'all cool? Like are are y'all not on speaking terms? I know you say y'all haven't talked, but like 
Is it? Is it? It's no bad. It's, it's no like bad bad blood between y'all. Uh, shit, I don't. I wouldn't say it's like bad blood. I would definitely say there's some. Uh, just awkward, I guess. I was about to say you could. I wouldn't even call it awkward, nigga. I ain't even thinking about none of it like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. I, I got you. Bro, went that way. I went, went that, that way, way, and that's what it is. Got you. Uh, can you talk about uh, Mac P Dog, rest in peace, and y'all relationship Man. and how y'all met? Yeah, uh, shit. Rest in peace, my boy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I missed the fuck out that nigga. Yeah. Uh, man, I was one of my best friends growing up. Shit, I met bro 2008, I think. Two, two, uh, 2008. Yeah, 2009, 2008. Uh, we went to the same high school, like same area and oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Same friends and everything. Uh, I was going down like the, we was walking down the hill, right? Like type at our school type shit. And I seen a big ass commotion. I'm like, what the fuck going on over there? Look like somebody like fighting this shit. Yeah. I go over there, it's fucking P Dog, little ass squaring up with some tall motherfucking <laughs> nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was my first intro. And then, like, I just chopped it. He did his thing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say if he won or lost, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? After, I'm like, that's right, nigga. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, then, uh, we just had, we already had like mutual friends, so we was already around each other. Then, like, we just started getting closer. Like, yeah. in high school, we got closer. Uh, Shit, just like I said, we all of us was damn near everyday niggas. Our yeah. group was we damn near lived with each other, all yeah. all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was just one of my one of my day ones. P Dog was one of my day ones for sure. And yeah. we didn't came from like a different side. Like Jeezy and everybody was yeah. like in Hollywood, Hollywood. We yeah. was like in like Echo Park, East Hollywood type yeah. shit. So it was like two different camps. So we had known each other a little bit. I known P Dog and shit a little bit before Jeezy. Yeah. And uh, before I met Jeezy and everybody else. Yeah. And then uh, we had like our our, our clicks kind of like merged, merged together, together yeah. on Mama. Gotcha. So like that's kind of what, you know what I'm saying? He was he was one of the niggas I didn't know since like a yeah. long time though. Shit. Yeah. Shit fucked my head up. No, nah, no. Nah, I can only imagine. Uh, rest in peace for sure. Oh, my mama. Um, rest in peace, my boy. What can your fans expect from you, from you now as a solo artist? Oh, uh, man. Just hella shit. Uh, I'm not, I'm just not letting up. You know what I'm saying? I got. I'm damn near thinking like this. I'm going to do three mixtapes before I do my album, yeah. but it, it's all going to be pretty consistent. So within like four months of each, I'm thinking like once this next, once my first tape drops, yeah. another four months, second tape. Another four four to six months after that, another tape. Yeah. After that, my album. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to see the progression and y'all going to see like, uh, the, the, you know what I'm saying, reaching them next levels and shit each time. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the music is incredible, bro. And I'm excited to like, Show people how I sound by myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of the times on the Shoreline shit, I would feel like I'd be overlooked or I'd be like, uh, my songs would just not be like heard like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I've been gassing. If you really yeah. go back, nigga, nah, I, sure. I, 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 I've been I've been gassing for a long ass time. So now yeah. I'm, I'm happy to be able to finally like, you know what I'm saying? Showcase what I what I'm capable of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rather than just being on a hook or just being a little verse or a little. 16 second part of a song or you know yeah. what i'm saying being skipped over now i'm like boom you know what i'm saying i'm yeah, ready for the really niggas oh, from all right yeah niggas, for, for shit show. how did you come up with your name phoenix flex that's my birth name phoenix okay. phoenix is okay. my, that's my birth name okay so you know what i'm saying and you just threw the flexing on there it got a nice ass ring yeah, you, know to it, <laughs> you know what i'm saying double s you know what i'm saying got a nice ass ring to it um do you ever feel pressure like uh to not slow down to keep dropping you know Hell yeah i feel pressure you know what i'm saying like i I'm not where I want to be at yet, you know what I'm saying? I'm still hungry. Yeah. I I ain't I you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not like at that level where I, I feel like I should be at. So I'm I'm in overdrive to get there, you know what I'm saying? I ain't yeah. finna stop until I get there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I already know niggas had respect for the group and shit, and that's all cool. That's all fine and dandy, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But I'm a you know what I'm saying? I'm finna get my own respect. Niggas going to see me, nigga like Oh, yeah, oh, niggas going crazy. Yeah, I, I got you. Nah, shit. That's how I got to be, bro. Like at, at the end of the day, like I feel like right now, even from the way I've been seeing you dropping, like you've been hella consistent. Like mm -hmm. oh, God. you got I, your foot on the gas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I've just been doing some little shit. Like uh, I'm just knocking out. Because uh, after this project, uh, I ain't going to do too many more features. Yeah. I'm going to just start just really just myself. Yeah. Just not because I don't fuck with niggas or nothing like that. Just because like I feel like it's that time to where like. I just I just think the music is more well, like it speaks for itself, you know what I'm saying? And I, I want my story to be heard, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. like features and all that shit is cool, but like right now that's what I'm doing. I'm working with everybody who I yeah. fuck with right now. Yeah. After the might have a couple features on this project and then boom. Coming on to that second project, just me. Third yeah. project, just me. Yeah. Album, just me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Might have like a couple 
here, features, here, yeah, but not like, not a lot. You know what I'm saying? So I've just been kind of doing my little my little uh, feature tour run. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. fucking with the niggas who, I, who whose music I fuck with. And, you know yeah. what I mean? I've been seeing you. Uh, uh, you you been, you did some with Mac J. You did some with Slowby. You did some with Lil B. Like, my mama uh, shit. Shout out. You been collabing with NorCal. Like what's up? My with mama that? shit. That's just my like. Uh, Probably like my biggest musical influence is like yeah. North Cal in the Bay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Even as a kid, like listening to like shit, all type of. You know what I'm saying? I, I was just bumping all type of Bay shit. So yeah. like, I feel like it's only right. You know what I'm saying? That's and still to this day, like yeah. all I bump right now, all I've been bumping is shit. Uh, shit like Mac J and Briss, rest yeah. in peace, Briss. Yeah, I wish I could have got to work with bro. Uh, yeah. Shit, Slubby, nigga. That nigga crazy, bro. Like, crazy, right Slubby, Slubby. He was struggling right now. Shit. Right now. And young, uh, EBK Young Jock, too. Yeah. Jock, y'all, y'all about to do something? Uh, I got a song with him and uh, Rob Vicious. We just did one when him and Slubby was yeah. out here. We was all fucking around the studio and shit. Yeah. I just hit him up the other day. We said we we said we going to do something, so shit. Yeah. My mom was out there. He think going we got up some right now, coming. too, for sure. Yeah, no, he one of them ones. Slubby yeah. and him, they one of them ones. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Lil Bean, you know what I'm saying? Lil yeah. Bean, Lil Bean got the back, like, got like SF going stupid. Yeah. Like, and that's really my dog for real. Like, yeah. I fuck with his vibe. We got good, like, musical chemistry and shit yeah. too on Mamas. Nah. So you could have for sure expect some more shit from them there. All of them, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I, them, them some niggas I fuck with the long way. Now, I, I, I appreciate uh, you collabing with them because I feel like. All the time, like to when, when people think, I feel like when I think of you, I think of you like you an established rapper, like you've done a mm-hmm. lot, you've toured a lot, and but, I feel like them is like them is niggas on the up and coming, but they really like they, they street rappers. So I feel like you, you give them an extra look. You feel me? Oh, my much been shit. Like you know what I'm saying? I was an established rapper in a group. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the group wasn't. I don't. You know what I'm saying? It was understood. Don't gotta be spoken damn near. But like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Niggas not what wasn't like all equals or none. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. nigga, I'm still on my come up. Like yeah. I I ain't I didn't came up a little bit, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't make it to where I need to be at or where I need to go. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I can't do nothing but respect. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm still out here. Nigga, I'm still out here, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like Now I I think that mindset and that work ethic and that drive is gonna get mm-hmm. you to where you wanna go for sure. Oh god. Uh do you think that fame and the spotlight is good or bad? It just depends on how you take it. It'll make you or break you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, fame, man, it's just weird, bro. Like, it'll change everybody around you. And it could, I didn't seen it change niggas. I didn't seen it change families. I didn't seen it change all type of shit, bro. Like, yeah. that shit is weird, bro. I do a pretty good job of maintaining myself as a person, bro. Like, I'm comfortable with who I am. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I know who I am. I never let no fame change me. Nigga, like, I, I be telling niggas, like, bro, I don't give a fuck a nigga got million dollars or a dollar nigga i look at you the same as yeah. i look at anybody else you know what i'm saying yeah. none, of, none of that should be phasing me bro yeah. like it just depends on how you take it as a person you know what i'm saying you just got to take it the right way if you're not ready for it it'll fuck you up you know yeah. what i'm saying if you're a weak-minded person that shit will gas your head up so big your head will pop nigga yeah. like that shit crazy yeah no no times i think uh what, what 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 i always thought is that like it don't matter how much ha, the money don't make you more of a man or less of a man. You feel me? It like don't, you know what I'm saying? It don't not one bit. Uh, how did people react to you when you first started making music? I mean, to be honest, bro, everybody was already fucking with me because yeah. niggas was just fucking with me. I'm like on some like just being tagging and being in the streets, yeah. skating. Like I was already like I was already niggered out. So like yeah. once I started making the music, it just all like. Started just falling together, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You know, what I'm saying? and especially when uh me and uh, when me and OGs was like, uh really like going hard working make, making music together, it was just yeah. like boom 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 boom. Progress was crazy. What was it that made you want to start rapping? Damn, bro, that's a good. I don't even know, dude. Like, <laughs> I, I was I, I was just getting like hella high and shit. We was like dr- drinking and shit. I was freestyling and shit. Yeah. And then, like, the homies would be like, hey, bro, like, you actually hard. Like, you don't sound like you just trying to freestyle. Like, it sounds like you been doing this. Like, yeah. you should learn how to record type shit. And then, uh, yeah, it went from there. Like, a couple of the homies was making music. So I was just being around, being in studios and shit, just kind of peeping game at what was going on. And then, like, I think it was after I got my first, like, 5,000 views. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Like, yeah. Which is nothing, bro. But at the time, I was like, man, five thousand people. Start, though. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm like, five thousand people's listening to me. I'm finna go all the way with this shit. I was yeah. pretty confident. And I'm like, 
I know I'm hard. You know what I'm saying? I was looking at what everybody else was on. I'd be like, I know I'm harder than these niggas. I know yeah. I'm flyer than these niggas. Yeah. I know at, at us as a group at the time, I was like, I know we all harder than more saucy than all these niggas. So like, yeah. let's just run with this shit. I ain't, ain't no stopping us. Yeah. What, what what artists did you grow up listening to? Um, man, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, what what time period? Like, is it so like uh, a super young kid? Uh, just probably like high school. High school, I was, I was listening to like Chief Keef, uh, who else, ASAP Rocky was out, I was listening to like whatever what was going on really, I wasn't into, t- in high school I wasn't really making music like that, so yeah. I was just kind of listening it's to like, whatever, whatever yeah. Uh, when y'all made the record bands, did you believe it would pop like it did? Nah, to be honest it was a throwaway. For real. Oh God, we was in the studio like it's cool or whatever, and then uh, Ace to Face. He had, he had, I think it was like one of his first time it was one of his first beats that had all four of us on it. Yeah. And he was like, Hell, I'm gonna make this shit work. Like yeah. he he, <laughs> he like chopped it up, did hella shit to the record, you know what I'm saying? Put verses where they needed to go, then yeah. like played it back. He was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. nah, this shit hard, nigga, y'all tripping. <laughs> and then like we was like, Okay, it's just cool. And then we had a, uh, we was while we was touring, we would perform that song like at the end of the show. Niggas wouldn't even know what it was. And then that kind of like gave it like a weird like fake like you know what I'm saying a a- buzz. extra buzz too so <laughs> it, it just kind of like it worked out well I yeah. guess you know what I'm saying it's not one of my favorite records I ain't gonna lie like yeah. I think we got hella harder records with all four of us on it but it's damn near it's a good one I feel like it's like a good energy song like yeah. it's like a it makes you it's like a feel Get the good club popping yeah for it's sure. like a feel good type beat <laughs> uh, can you tell me a crazy tour story what oh, shit could I I got way too much. <laughs> What kind of what kind of story you want to hear, bro? Anyone that you feel comfortable sharing. Uh, okay, so we was in Seattle, right? It was we had some show in Seattle. Then like one some nigga like that we had been fucked with, like from out here type shit. Like just has like some little homie shit, like he just nigga who would be around this type shit. Yeah. Uh, he had he pulled up to the show. You know what I'm saying? He came back to the telly after, you know what I'm saying? He just kicking it with us, you know what I'm saying? We turning up, getting high, you know what I'm saying? Doing what we do, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, so he crashes over. He had been like crashed at like the old crib and shit. We all we, we, we all had like a house we was all staying at. Yeah. He would always be up over there and shit. So we wouldn't yeah. think nothing of it. I had like a, I think I had like three bands in a bag. It was all I had was in the bag was three bands though. And then like uh, he crashes, he, him and his cousin, they sleep over and shit. We wake up in the morning and shit. And then I see, I wake up hella early. I see this nigga Jeezy like looking over to me on sus and shit. I'm like, what's up? Like, what's going on, nigga? And I check my phone. He's like, check your phone. He's like, this, this nigga was doing something weird with your bag, nigga. Like, uh, I'm like, what you, exactly. I'm like, what you mean? So I open the bag, ain't no money in there. I'm like, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's three yeah. bands, nigga. I'm finna trip. I go over to the door, I lock the door. Uh, I tell his homie, I, I, I'm, I don't even think it's him at first because the, oh, the, the, okay. the nigga was with <laughs> so I, been I, go, around. <laughs> I go over to his cousin. I'm like, hey, nigga, get up. He's like, what you mean? I said, get up. Start uh, checking this thing. What you doing? What you doing? I'm like, hey, bro, my fucking money's gone. My, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm tripping, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, I know you got my money, bro, and this shit ain't going to end good, bro. Like, so you, like, you know what I'm saying? I suggest, I, I advise you to give me the money now, nigga, and it'll be a little, <laughs> it'll be a little less worse yeah. for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, uh, He's like, bro, you got, I don't got shit. Like, check me, check me. So I'm like checking this nigga, nigga. I'm, we make this, make this nigga strip. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And he ain't got no money. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, there wasn't no bitches or nothing. Like, yeah. so I'm not, I know it was yeah. no bitches or nothing. Then like, the other homie's like, hold on. He go, because the other dude, that our, our homie or whatever, I ain't going to say his name, bitch yeah. ass nigga. He was a, uh, like, he was like, went to, I guess he's like in the mix of all that. He went to the, like, oh, I go to take a shit. Yeah. You know? The homie kicks the bathroom door down. The nigga sit. The nigga like not. <laughs> the nigga like nodding off. Yeah. Sitting on top of the toilet. I'm like, bro, you ain't taking no shit. What the fuck you doing? Yeah. This nigga, <laughs> he walk out. Uh, the, the 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 homie like go. I guess he left his shoes. The homie lifted up his shoes. It wasn't all the money. It yeah. gets more. It, it, it's, it's, it gets kind of funny. <laughs> he there's money under the shoe. He come out. He look at me. He like he got it. Boom. We yeah. start getting up on him. Yeah. <laughs> Mopping him. Uh, making this nigga, I'm t- nigga t- dropping. I sound funny, nigga, but I was where there was on, only so much money. It was yeah. like to, a band in the shoes. Yeah, ain't no money in his pocket. Nigga, I'ma drop your pants, nigga. He's like, yeah. what? Just made this nigga strip, bro. Yeah. 
I, we start, and I'm like, I'm just at this point, I just get even mad because yeah. like he, there's no money. I'm like, why would he have any money like anywhere else? It's like yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's shit. not hidden underneath this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Boom, we start fucking him up even more. I swear to God, like in the middle of us fucking him up, like his boxers kind of fall. This nigga like trying to curl up, bro. Money start coming out this nigga ass. <laughs> nigga, nigga. I swear to God, bro. Nigga had money stashed in his booty crack. Dirty what? ass nigga had money stashed That's up crazy. everywhere. And nigga, I was disgusted, bro. That's disgusting, bro. So this bum, we, I, we, we beat the fuck out this bum ass nigga. This nigga like, he, we kick him out the hotel. We kick him out the room, nigga. Like, and I still get mad, nigga. He already like damn near half naked. I go yeah. outside <laughs> and catch him in the stairwell. We whip him again. And then I'm like, you know what? Fuck that. This nigga cousin knew too. It's on. We ran to, we ran to, we run to, the, we run to the parking. He's there for sure. He had to get yeah. it too for sure. So we run to the parking lot, bro. I ain't gonna say what we, you know, what I'm saying, but like his car scared pull off, bro. Yeah. Three way collision. Boom. Wow. Got a phone out of there. Crazy. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> oh God. That's a there, crazy story. We come back in the lot. This nigga like butt naked walking through the lot. Be all <laughs> fucked up, man. <laughs> Oh God! I only got like twenty three hundred back. I was gonna say, do you take some? Do yeah. you take the money coming out of it? Oh back? hell no, like, bro! I'm like this dirty ass nigga. You take like, you, you, yeah, I should have. Shit, yeah. I should have. Bro, what? <laughs> I was so hot, nigga. Fuck that nigga. I hot too for sure. I hate. <laughs> I hate a fucking thief. Um, what is your process like for selecting beats and working on lyrics for your songs? For me, bro, I'll know within like the first uh, 30 seconds, not even 30, first like 15 seconds if I like the beat or not. Yeah. If I don't catch a vibe within the first 15 seconds, it's next one, next yeah. one, next one. I used to write lyrics and write my songs. Uh, now I just like, uh, I just go up in there, start punching in, yeah. get into it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't like that better. Hell yeah, I can't write no more, so that's the only way I can do it no more. After something like after just not writing for so long, I just like lost my writer's touch, but like I gained like my, my, my like I like un you like it's like something you gotta unlock. I don't yeah. know how to explain it. Once you get it, you get it though. You yeah. ain't you ain't need to write no more. You just come you, you know you just come in and knock it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um I I was watching the Mac uh J video, uh Channel Five. Oh, y'all got the balloons. What y'all <laughs> got in the balloons? Oh man, that's like some that's like some hella LA shit. Like uh it's nitrous oxide. Yeah. Um, what does it do? What does it do for it? It gets you high. Like a, okay, you, like like smoke weed, smoke high. Nah, nah. <laughs> like a real intense minute high or something. Yeah, uh, that's like this is some L.A. shit. I know everybody be looking at that shit crazy. It's like some L.A. culture shit, yeah. like uh, high school house parties and yeah. little janky kickbacks and I shit like that. I had some homies. When I, I went to see some. I had some homies I live with, and they would have the same thing. But I never really just. It's different from whippets, though. It's not. Oh, this, okay. So it's not like a whippet. It, okay. The thing that all these. I don't know why the fuck all these rappers and shit is doing whippets. That shit is not cool. Yeah. That shit don't get you high like that. Yeah. Nas ain't even that cool like that, nigga. I just do it if it's around. But that's like yeah. some. Like if you not from LA and you doing Nas, like you you're kind of weird, like because yeah. that's I don't see nobody do that shit nowhere else. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It, I I just knew it would be like it would it's like it'll make niggas like what is that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's a cool little. Yeah, I knew yeah, for the nah, video it was cool. It, it look it look like oh shit. That should have like, put you on your ass though. Yeah, oh, God, fucking Nas. <laughs> it, it, anybody from LA, yeah, I don't even gotta explain. Like they anybody, it's just an LA thing. Yeah, yeah my God. <laughs> Uh, you just dropped a new song called First Off. That shit slapping. My guy, good looking. Uh, what was the mindset when you was putting that record together? Oh, uh, shit. Sure. I put that together uh, some some months ago, nigga. Probably like five months ago. Um, ain't nothing much. That was just like some regular shit. Like I said, just yeah. freestyling. Yeah. I was just looking for a song. like Because, bro, I, I got into two new label situations. So the project got pushed back a little bit. Yeah. But, um. I'm over, like, bro, like, I'm over, like, waiting for, I, I mean, I, I still wait on labels to do what's necessary, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But to a, at a certain point, bro, you just got to take shit in your own hands and make shit go, like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Fans want new music, bro, I ain't going to be no weird nigga, like, I'm going to drop music, like, yeah. I don't care about the whole DSPs and shit, bro, I really don't give a fuck, like, yeah. it was just some shit where, like, I'm, it's a good song, let's put it out. It'll build some momentum, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Also, I'm building my YouTube channel, so like, yeah, I see. I've been people that I, I'm, I like I'm, that a lot. I'm, I'm gonna start like dropping my music videos and everything and so forth on my channel. Yeah. So it's just like building my channel, giving the fans a banger. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I knew it's, it. I knew it was a slap. So like, shit, I'm almost. Are, are you signed right now? Yeah. So I'm with. Um. Uh, still, I got like a. I got two projects with. A, basically, Atlantic threw me another advance. I owed two projects with Shoreline. Yeah. The tweet went so viral where I said I was finna leave, like yeah. it hit academics and all type of shit. And also, niggas, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm 
I stand on what I say. I ain't gonna say I'm finna leave the group and then still be part of the group. Yeah. Like nigga, it's it, it's chopped. Like yeah. I ain't never. There's no more shoreline with me in it yeah. or nothing like that. Yeah. So uh, they was like, all right, well you owe two projects. Give us two solo projects on your own. We'll give you a, a new budget, a new bag. Yeah. Do your thing like that. Yeah. All right, bet. Let's get it. Yeah. And then uh, without like uh, without shows and shit right now. That's like a main part of a nigga the way to make money. Yeah. So uh, I did a publishing deal with uh, Sony ATV. Shout out Sony ATV. I fuck yeah. with y'all. Um, so you know what I'm saying? Get my streams. So now yeah. I'm collecting it. Because we was collecting those streams with the little show. With our, I don't think. Yeah, we was collecting those streams with the Sherlock shit. Yeah. So now, you know what I'm saying? I'll get my quarterly little fat 40 band, 50 band checks. So yeah. Well, that's hard. That, that should be coming through you. It, it's like a whole different game now. Without the shows yeah. and shit, yeah. you got to reconstruct. It's like back to the drawing board. So yeah. like. I'm doing my skate company that I got coming. I got the little streams I got coming. Yeah. And then that's like my two things right now. But I'm gonna have even more shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. I'm, I'm a I've been working up here. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I got hella like projects I'm finna be putting out. How, how involved were you like um, on the business aspect previously? I know you talking about the publishing deal, which is a, a great mm -hmm. move. But how mm -hmm. how involved were you with it at first? Uh, I was pretty young, bro. Like when we first signed, I think I was like what nineteen, twenty years. I don't know how. Maybe a little older than that, actually. Yeah. Like uh, twenty or twenty one or some shit. I don't know. Uh, so like, I wasn't even thinking of that, bro. I was just nigga. I'm. I was just sipping, drank, nigga, going to fucking. Sax Fifth and Eden yeah. Roof Chris every goddamn day. I didn't yeah. give a fuck about no a good time. <laughs> Yeah, but that was my bad because that got me into the situation where I was in where I had to go ahead and leave the group. Yeah. If I would have been on tip since the very beginning, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not saying I could have changed the outcome of the group, but I definitely could have changed the outcome of where I was at and my standpoint in the group yeah. to been in a better position. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. uh, I'm about to say life lessons, bro. You just keep learning. You know what I'm saying? And then it was there at that time. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting older. I'm mature. I got two kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, two kids, two baby mamas. So like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I got two situations to take care of. So nigga, at, at a certain point, you got to get down to business. So I'm, yeah. I'm happy that that time is now where I like my, I'm kind of like on a, I, I'm thinking different, moving different. You know yeah. what I'm saying? On mamas. Nah, I like that. Um, in the in the song, um, uh, first off, you was talking, you said that bad bitches only want rich niggas. Why do you feel that bad bitches only want rich niggas? Uh, I didn't say that only. I said she a bad bitch. She want a rich. Oh nigga. yeah, yeah. Um, man, I don't know. All these bullshit ass bitches poisoning the motherfucking females of this generation. God yeah. damn it, that shit's so crazy, bro. I should be fucking my head up. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Much, much love and support to all the ladies out there doing their thing in this music industry. Yeah, I love it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like poisoning the like the, the like the younger generation of girls and women and shit to be wanting a certain thing or thinking that's the norm or that's yeah, the, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And that that ain't cool, bro. That's the new. That's like the new female sound right <laughs> yeah, now. How like, much money can you get, get out of a nigga? Oh God, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it's you ain't crazy. Gonna, you ain't gonna get a penny out of me. <laughs> um, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Flex in Volume One. That's that's your new project that's about to drop soon. I might have to change the name because some other funny shit. But like, uh, yeah, I got, I I got it, it's. I don't know if it's gonna be. I definitely got a mixtape. That's my my individual mixtape was coming next. I don't know what it's gonna be called now. Yeah. But uh, it's gonna be here within no more than three months because I got Bravo Flex in two dropping. Yeah. And, hella soon probably like in a month or two yeah so if that doesn't drop in a month or two then my project gonna drop so yeah. it's like vice versa i got yeah. two projects coming over the next three months yeah i i, I did want to bring that up uh bravo the bag chaser when i when i interviewed him he said that he said that you were one of he said you were probably the the most true friend he's gained since he started making music my mamas, that's my that's, that's my nigga right there you know what i'm saying i don't I don't I don't expect nothing from him. I don't I don't want nothing from him, you know what I'm saying? I just uh I, I just respected what he was doing yeah. as an individual, you know what I'm saying? And I extended my hand to get him and possibly put him in a better situation. Yeah. I ain't gonna say I'm I, I knew he was gonna go up and do his own thing already. I knew that. So yeah. I just wanted to make it I just wanted to do what I could do to make it happen a little faster. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. uh that's my dog right there. You could always expect some shit from me and Bravo. Yeah. Um Bravo Flex and Well went up. I don't, yeah. It wasn't on no DSPs. It had no push behind it. There was yeah. zero labels, zero management, nothing, <laughs> nigga. It was just us doing us. Yeah. Like, 
uh, we we putting the videos out. We paid for all the studio time, all that. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, the only differences around this time is I feel like we both kind of grown musically and as individuals too, our mama. So like, yeah. it the project gonna be twice as hard. Bravo Flexing Two gonna be twice as hard as the first one, and it's gonna be on all DSPs. It gonna have a push behind it, like yeah, that's hard. And, like big bigger budget, like actual budgets for music videos and shit. So yeah. I'm I'm excited to see how far we gonna go with this one because the first one. It went up, you know what I'm saying? This got potential, you know what I'm saying? We did a little tour off and everything. This one, though, yeah. is going to be like, God damn, like, okay, these niggas is, these niggas Turn not, not playing. <laughs> yeah, I'm honest. Uh, do you believe people stop, try to steal your flow? I don't even pay attention to people enough, bro. Like, yeah. I really be in my own little world, bro. I, I, I can't even say that, bro, because I, if I hear, like, something I like or something like a certain sound or a certain beat or, like, rhyme scheme or rhyme pattern... I might fuck around and like you know what I'm saying use that you yeah. know what I'm saying, I but that's just part of like doing music like yeah. you know what I'm saying that there's like this is how this shit go bro like oh mama I got you I, so, and anybody who's uh, copying my flow and you know what I'm saying I salute y'all much love man keep <laughs> keep doing that you know what I'm saying because I got I be I got too many flows like to, it's not like I just got one little thing yeah. bro. I got like hella different sounds yeah. you know what I'm saying <laughs> nah, I'm they could try to keep up if they want to. But. <laughs> Uh, why do you think artists are such a target for like people trying to rob them, take their chains, to uh, I mean, just the, all bad energy? They got if you are, you probably got some paper on you. you yeah, you probably on the ground flexing bands. You probably on the ground flexing them diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Once upon a time, if I would have seen a nigga like that, and I know I could get up on him, shit, I would have got up on him too. Yeah. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's a dog eat dog world. Yeah. You portraying yourself a certain way. You live in a certain type of lifestyle. You got to be prepared for what can come with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit, just move right. Uh, don't, don't, don't get too comfortable. That's yeah. that's all it is, bro. Just don't get comfortable. You'll yeah. be all right. Yeah. What is a perfect day for you? Mm, perfect day for me would be like you know what I'm saying. Wake up, start my morning, waking up to seeing one of my kids. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, baby mama not tripping. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> go get fly real quick. You know what I'm saying. Meet up with the homies. Get a little high, uh, hit the studio, get some good eats after, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Make it back home. Shit, probably try to, uh, I, my, my youngest son, like, he, he, he like a baby still. He won. Yeah. So I love just being able to, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, go to sleep around, just be around him as much as I can, you know what I'm saying? Me and my second baby mama, we ain't on the best of terms, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it be, my, my good days is like when I'm able to be able to like to see him yeah. and still have a good day. Yeah. That's like my idea of a, my ideal idea of a good day. Nah, I like that. Uh, what are your hobbies outside of music? Oh shit. I mean, like, I'm a father, bro. So like, whatever my kids' hobbies is, are, like, my <laughs> hobby. Yeah. My my older son likes trains and fucking. Shit like that. What else is he into now? He likes he's he's in the vacuum cleaners. I don't know why he he hella interested. <laughs> vacuum in like, cleaners. Yeah, he interested in vacuum cleaners and trains. Yeah. So, uh, I watch watching fucking trolls in the Lego movie and building Legos and shit yeah. with him. Uh, that's what I be like doing. I yeah. like I like taking them to get fly too. I like I I hella like I got like a problem like buying clothes and drip and like shoes and shit. So yeah. like. I be bored, fuck around, go out with them, just go get dripped up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that though. Oh god, <laughs> I like I like I like skating too. I'm trying to get around to it, like get back into because I got the skate brand coming, so I'm yeah. obviously I'm gonna have like actual skate videos and shit. So I gotta yeah. get back into get it. get back into it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Also, it's good. You know what I'm saying? Just to move around. You know what I'm saying? Get some just fucking exercise in this quarantine shit. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh shit, yeah, that's that's it. What, what, man, make a pot, just politicking, nigga, ma making moves. Yeah. I, uh, just like brainstorming on what's next. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, at a certain point, like your hobbies got to be what's putting paper in your pocket. So yeah. like, I'm just trying to get to them next levels. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the, I, I was hell, I be hell into like clothing and shit and fashion and shit. So uh, I said, fuck it, I'm finna make a brand. Yeah. It ain't just like a skate company. It's like you know what I'm saying? It's like a streetwear skate company type of shit. So I'm excited to see what's going on with that. I'd be like just shout out my guy Blazzy. Uh he's he's a clothing designer. He's my partner for yeah. this shit. So that's we, hard. I just be chopping it up with him, going back and forth and shit too. That's yeah. that's really what my shit consists of right now. Yeah. 
how did you get introduced to like lean and like Percocets and all type of stuff like that? Um, I I was bumping like three six mafia in like third or fourth grade. Yeah, I used to always hear about that shit, but I wouldn't know like you know what I'm saying. I wouldn't know what the fuck it was, but like I think it was like in uh ninth grade. I, ninth grade, like I would like hear about like the, the prescription pills and shit, Vicodins and shit, and songs yeah. and Narcos. And I remember one day in ninth grade, like I, I had like went into my grandma's medicine cabinets. That's where everybody finds it. That's oh, where mama, I found my oh, first Vicodin oh, too. Oh, oh mama, she had Vi- <laughs> she had Vicodins, bro, and I kid you not, she had Vicodins and like and and a and a Ack bottle. Yeah, that sounds like took <laughs> took took the whole Ack bottle back. I took the whole Ack bottle, took like twelve Vicodins, and then like I just that's that was like my f- first like trials of dibbling and dabbling. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I didn't get too much crazy into it like that. Uh, I was really like just dipping blunts and shit in the lane at first. Yeah. I wasn't really doing too much crazy shit like that. Yeah. Um, and then I started learning. We learned how to bust scripts. Like, yeah. I don't even go get too much in that either because that's some whole like other shit. But uh, yeah. that's that's when we I really started sipping drink. Like, damn, like that. Rather than like waking up like, oh, I want to sip drink. Nigga, I went from that to like, oh, I, I need some drink. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh. Shit, that ain't cool to be. So I I, I don't sip drink no more. Yeah, I might I, I might fuck around, fuck around a once in a bit. while. But yeah. like, I was sipping I was sipping drink damn near every day for like a yeah. year or two straight. Nigga, that should have fuck you up. Nigga, I'd stop, yeah. bro. Well, I was sick as sick as dog shit. Nigga, I, what? This shit sucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, why? What, what was there like a moment that you was like, oh, I need to cool out on this shit, or like, um. Uh, if it was now, bro, niggas is paying five hundred line. That shit's bad shit crazy. Yeah. Y'all niggas is out y'all goddamn minds. I was sipping lean when shit was like twenty five, thirty line. Yeah. I thought thirty line was crazy once upon a time. You know what I mean? But yeah. um, so that would make me want to. I would not pay fucking five hundred dollars a day to get high off anything. That yeah. you you a fuck you are a crackhead. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um. I don't. I don't know. Like shit. I got kids and shit too. I got kids, mainly like kids, bro. You can't lean yeah, lean the high. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If you doing yeah, like I stop bars, lean, all that shit, just cause I don't, I don't want to be sluggish and shit. I want to be on my tip, you know what yeah. I mean? I, I still might fuck around, and do a perk here and there at the studio and shit. Yeah. Uh, that's that's about, about it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't smoke weed. I don't drink alcohol. Yeah, I don't really do nothing, bro. Yeah. I don't do too much. You know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Okay. Once upon a time, yeah, nigga, I was, yeah, was yeah. going crazy with it. <laughs> uh, but do you, huh, what you say? I about to say, I, I, for all like the youth and shit, anybody watching it, like that shit ain't no joke though. That's just like them. Perks is the devil, man. Like lean is the devil. Like y'all gotta stay away from that shit. You once you get deep enough in that hole, it's really hard to get yourself out that shit. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta be aware of that. You know what I'm saying? Getting high is always fun until it becomes an addiction. Addiction ain't fun. Addiction is addiction. You know what I'm saying? I'm All honest. Uh, do you believe in aliens or ghosts? <laughs> I don't know, shit. <laughs> if I ever see one, yeah. I I I, I definitely believe. There's like most shit out there. Like there's gotta be. Yeah. Like the world, this is, <laughs> shit is too big for there not to be some other shit out there. Yeah. Uh, do you have a favorite clothing line or a designer brand you like wearing right now? Yeah, I do. Give me, let me just text my manager. Yeah. One second. Clothing brands. I got hella clothing brands I like. Um, my favorite is. I'm not too much into like designer and shit like that. Uh, I like a little de- like a, like a belt, shoes, or like a designer hats and like little accessories and shit. Uh, my favorite clothing brand is probably like um, I don't know. I want to sound like cliche, but fuck, I like I like like Supreme, Bape, yeah. Nike. I'm a fucking I I got way too many Jordans. I fucking yeah. love I I love Jordans. I be buying hella J's and shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then shit, my brand is gonna be one of my favorites just because I guess I'm making the shit and I'm making it what I like. So like. I'm making carpets, clocks, shoes, all oh, type of hard. shit. So it's not like it's just some little bullshit. I'm really simple. It's like, like t-shirts it's, and shit. You yeah, coming out I'm coming with some crazy shit. Yeah, I'm yeah, that's hard. <laughs> uh, why did you get the permanent uh, teeth? Man, I done been one of them since I, I done seen like niggas with them since I was like a kid. I always thought it was, it was one of the things that it's always wanted. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I, yeah. If I if I like it, I like it. That's yeah. what I wanted, so I got it. Yeah. Do you do you ever like you know I know you seen where uh YFN Lucci had a video that video that went viral because they pulled his teeth out. Yeah, little baby teeth under, but yeah. that, the only reason he pulled them out was because he was getting veneers. So yeah, okay. It's not like he just pulled them out and like, oh, these are my teeth now. Like nah. Yeah. 
you know what I'm saying? Th- these are like my real teeth. I floss between them. I eat with them. They, they don't. They feel normal. Like yeah. I would have no reason to take these out unless I was getting veneers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So your teeth ain't gonna look like that unless you pull them out. Yeah. You're not gonna have no reason. To, they don't. It's not like they come out. They don't. Yeah. They like them. They're my actual teeth. So yeah, like, yeah, I got you. you know what I mean. Um, that at first it, it felt funny for like the first week and then now it feels like it's normal. normal as well. <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite food spot right now? Oh, my mom's, I got a couple. Uh, San Marcos Bidia. It's fucking bomb. It's like them tacos you dip. I don't know if you've seen them. I didn't talk about. Uh, and then <laughs> the sat, sauce. sat down Jamaican. Man. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that shit go crazy. C- curry goat. <laughs> I, 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 curry goat and the oxtails, man. I be eating that shit too much. Yeah. <laughs> curry goat. Up? Curry goat. Probably my favorite food. Oxtails, one of my favorite food for oh, sure. Mama. So I just did oxtails too. I ate them shits like so so many times. I just <laughs> switch. I just switching it up, going through brown stew chicken, all that shit. Good yeah. as fuck. Uh, what are your goals for twenty twenty one? Man, twenty twenty one. My goals is to be like one of the biggest, if not the biggest, artist coming out of L A. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I already got a pretty good like. I got a great fan base. I love all my fans. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a good stepping stone to work off of after everything we've accomplished. You know what I'm saying? Me stepping into my solo career, uh, I'm super. I'm hella confident in my music and myself. You know what I'm saying? So I know I got what it takes to really put my foot down and let my name be one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't trying to be. I, I, I ain't just Phoenix flexing from short from that group Shoreline Mafia no more, nigga. It's like it's Phoenix flexing. You know what I'm saying? It's my time. You know what I mean? Niggas yeah. gonna see. Yeah. So I got like. Uh, I'm just ready, bro. Shit, and I, I got, I got like, I got tunnel vision on what I need to be and where I need to be, and that's where I'm going. You know what I'm saying, on mamas. Yeah, no, I like so. that. I feel like uh, tunnel vision is like a, it's a special focus that you get it, and once you get it, it's, you yeah, it's all the way. Oh some God, w- once this pro, people gonna really trip out like with this project, like, cause I'm like, it's like 16 songs, just me, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying. And the bitch is hard. Like y'all niggas like people haven't really heard six, they, haven't, they haven't heard they haven't heard sixteen yeah. songs of just me. They just heard <laughs> me on this or me on that. And yeah. niggas gonna be like nah, that's hard. Niggas bro. gonna understand why why I felt the way I felt and yeah. why I did why I chose the decision I made. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I, I'm happy that you you able to uh fully express yourself and, and let the people hear you for you. I think that's that's important. Oh God, for sure. super. If you could pick yourself to be any animal in the world, what would it be and why? Damn, that's a good question. Uh, shit, I don't know, nigga. Uh, I'm trying to think of something that would be like kind of fun. <laughs> I would. I don't know. What would you want to be if you was an animal? I say like a lion. Nigga, I'm a beast, nigga. I want to be like a fucking lion or like a wolf, nigga. Yeah. Wolves moving packs and they hella loyal. I'm yeah. a loyal person and shit. And uh, you know what I'm saying? So I can see myself being a wolf. Yeah. That would be hard. Uh, how do you feel about about beef and rap beef? And have you ever had a rap beef? You you think you think rap beef is real? Nah, I I about to say rap beef is just rap. Internet shit is it, bro? People be too fucking like, <laughs> bro. It's a fucking phone with a fucking app. Like, yeah. Instagram is a fucking app. Like. Even if somebody was trying to rap, I don't even think I'd entertain that shit. I'd probably kill a nigga off with a diss song, but I just don't yeah. ever see myself as that type of nigga to make a diss song. Yeah. Like I said, but I don't. I just don't care enough about what the next nigga got going on. Yeah, to even be. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All involved in it. I got. We got real life situations out here and shit that niggas could be. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like I, bro. I'm like yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, if you could relive your life and not get into the streets and all that, would you? Mmm. I about to say everything I've done to this point made me where I'm at today, and yeah. I could I could take care of my family and provide for my kids. So yeah. shit, uh, maybe I would have been if I would have chose a different route or something. Like I probably could have done the same thing, but no, nah, because I I'm happy to I'm happy. I, you know what I'm saying? I love my kids. I love my family, and uh, yeah. I'm happy to be able to be able to do what I can do for them. Yeah. Uh- do you look at comments to see like what people say? Hell yeah, bro! I'm, I'm, <laughs> I be at home bored as hell, man. Yeah. Like, you just, respond to the comments, though. man. You know it. I be, <laughs> I be laughing like a motherfucker. Like, niggas, niggas are so weird, bro. Just niggas be so fucking weird. Like, yeah. Like I be just thinking, like, what the fuck do y'all be thinking? Like, how do y'all even feel like you entitled to a goddamn opinion with your lame ass yeah. fucking nerds? That's what I be cracking up to. I be like, damn, like. I mean, when people like send like big ass, like 
detailed thought out. <laughs> like, I'd be like, bro, you child? really sat there and, yeah, and typed that shit oh, out. Mama, it, like, it was like, what? Well, like, bro, what are you doing with your day? I like, can't do that. Hey, man, all y'all bitches who be like so in tune with the internet, like just talking, like yipping and yapping and gibbering and jabbering, like, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> y'all niggas too, like, shut the fuck up. Like, don't nobody give a fuck what you got to say but you. Exactly. <laughs> um, What's the place you want to travel to? Shit, I've been around the world and back, man. I'm not no. a big fan of traveling. Do you have a? Did, was there ever a, a favorite uh, city that you went to? New Zealand. New Zealand. Why? Man, that shit is like I had never seen like a place like like that shit was like how do I describe, like beautiful type yeah. shit. Like I was <laughs> like, damn, I'm like it's really it's really more than like just L. A. and yeah. like shit in Cali, <laughs> like. Yeah. Oh God! But that's not even like that's like a different like what continent? That's what you call it? Yeah. Country continent? Yeah, country. So like that's like a not a city. My favorite city? Yeah. Like in the states? Yeah. Ah oh, shit. New York's pretty fucking cool, bro. Yeah. Like I fuck with New, I York. Like New York, like Soho and shit. Like and like they got good food out there too. Like I fuck with the whole bodegas and all that shit. Yeah. The little chopped cheeses yeah. and. Shit, all the Jamaican food. They got some good Jamaican food out there, too. The pizza is like, what the fuck, yeah. bro? Holy shit. That's what everybody says that the pizza is God like. damn, that shit's so fucking good, bro. I <laughs> eat pizza every day while I'm out there. New York's pretty. So I fuck with New York. New York's yeah. hella cool. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, I'm trying to get another one. Toronto. Oh, okay. Ooh, I want to go out there hella bad. I ain't never been. Man, Toronto's so fucking dope, bro. Like, man, yeah. Toronto's a vibe. That's tight. Do you have, uh, growing up, did you have a favorite cartoon? Yeah, bro, I was into like hella weird shit, I ain't gonna lie. What was it? Uh, like D Dragon Ball Z and yeah. Bleach and you. I, I don't know what Bleach is. What, that's a cartoon? Yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of what. They're like Naruto and like shit yeah. like that. You like anime? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I, would, I would never really tell niggas that, but yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, oh god. I, I, I still watch I ain't gonna lie, I still watch that shit. Yeah. You need to suck my dick. Yeah. Nah, that's tight. Nah, I, 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 why. I never watched Naruto or Dragon Ball Z like that, but Avatar was like, I watched that shit heavy. Yeah, that, was, that shit was like weenie shit. Like, <laughs> the other shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas dying and all that. Naruto is like some real deal, but it's hella yeah, long, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, hella I, season. I, I like that shit, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, mean, I like that shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you believe when an artist gets popping, they should move away from their city? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to move. Yeah. But, like, I ain't going to move too far. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I, I, I definitely say yes and no, bro. Like, if you finna still be out here, like, doing regular ass shit, like, you should probably move. But, like, if you in your own I know hella artists that don't move them from their city and they're more than fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you, it just all depends on you, bro. If you know how to move, you'll be okay. That's, yeah. the, that's just what it is. It is this all comes down to the, if you out here moving sloppy, you out here being flashy. You, niggas know what kind of car you in. You fuck. You got all these little holes up in your your spot. Like yeah. you, you gonna get some. You something gonna catch up with you. I don't yeah. know. You know what I'm saying? So it just depends on what you're doing and how you, how you living. Right. Oh, mamas. What's the most money you spent in a day? Uh, I mean, the teeth was like twenty bands. Yeah. I'm not too big on like jewelry and shit. I'm about to get like a watch and shit. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, bro. Like I'm kind of good with money. I I I could be bad. I'm I just got good with money. I'm lying. <laughs> I I had never like back when I first got like some when I had my first got my first bag. It's not like I would really like just go drop a big bag. I would just spend a lot every day. Yeah. Like I would go, <laughs> I'd be in a brand new fit, designer head to toe every day and shit. And that just, that's just like some young nigga shit though. Yeah. Like, nah, I'm talking when you when you get when you get the bread, you like man, I'm gonna go buy some shit that I ain't had. Oh God, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I still be like that kind of, but just not as much now. Nah. Yeah, but uh, my watch gonna be pretty expensive. That's just like the teeth was twenty. Yeah. I bought a chain. It was like twelve, bro. My fucking crazy ass baby mama threw that shit like in the L.A. River. Oh my god, oh, that's mama's. crazy. You know what I'm saying? On top Fuck of watch. Uh, shit. I'm. I don't know. Yeah, it's a good question. I was looking. I'm trying to figure it out. Like a bust down Rolly or something, or like yeah. a Cartier skeleton. Yeah. One or two. No, that's hard. White gold to match the teeth. 
What is the biggest lesson you learned in the industry? Shit, don't trust people. They're not your friends. Uh, don't think you can make friends out the industry. And don't mix friendships with business because nine times out of ten it won't work unless y'all literally like blood relatives or something. Yeah, that's one thing I've I've been telling people too that this whole like business and friendship and like it it, it get it just get hella just weird to me because even with me since I do interviews of course I got friends in the industry but niggas I feel like niggas come to me with like the most craziest, like, expecting me to do shit for them yeah, that like, I know okay, they wouldn't can, do like, for me. Can you interview so-and-so? He come, like, bro, like, who the fuck is so-and-so? You know, it's not going to give me like no that. views. It's not even like they say, <laughs> I got this artist who can get you some views and this one who probably won't. It's like, nah, it's a nigga who oh, I've never heard of. Oh, God, you feel and me? if I'm not trying to do it, they like, oh, now you at the Hollywood. I'm like, nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Hollywood. Th this shit crazy. The industry ugly as fuck. You know what I'm saying? You just got to learn how to uh, sh 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 certain shit out. Like, if you move a certain way, certain shit won't even get around you. Because there's some weird ass shit in this industry, bro. Niggas is fucking weird. And it's just like, bro, that shit's, that shit's whack, bro. I don't I don't fuck with it. I'm, I'm too real for that shit. That's why, like, I'm happy. Like, I know, at like, like I'll be when when I get to where I want to be, it'll it'll be like in a way that I want to be. I ain't gonna have nobody pulling my strings like a little puppet, nigga. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Which is the best way. Oh God. Uh, what do you think has changed the most in your music over the years? This uh, pain, pain and fucking experiences, shit like that, just changes your music. But you know what I'm saying? Real real life. Like, when it, music started off as just, like, fun. Like, you know what I'm saying? We were still, like, thugging and shit, but, like, it wasn't just like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, you go through certain shit, you know what I'm saying? How, homies getting killed, homies dying and shit. Like, that shit, like, will change your music for sure. Yeah. Have you ever considered, like, um, taking therapy or anything? Yeah, I have. You have? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Uh, No, I haven't started yet, okay. but... uh. Yeah, my manager was talking to me about getting like therapy. I know I need it. I probably I know I, I need therapy. it. Therapy. I, I ain't gonna lie though. Therapy has like a weird like uh like it, it people uh like people co uh, like compare therapy with like being crazy. Like if you got a therapist, what's wrong with that's, you? That's that's what I feel. But, but it's, I, it's not like that. No, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm no I, I top of the year I was gonna start uh start my yeah I was gonna start doing therapy top of the year. Yeah, I feel like it, it just depends on who you talking to because. I feel like my therapist was like a, a random white dude, and I'm 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 like, bro, you not finna understand what <laughs> the I'm fuck gonna, I'm gonna yeah. do. I'm about to say, bro, y'all, I don't had a I don't had a crazy life since a baby and a young child. Now you know I'm saying I'm in the middle of my life, like my pops did, did all right, but yeah. then like, uh, shit, when I jumped up off the porch, nigga, you know what I'm saying, just gets till now, and then my, I'd have fucked up like early on, like child, I for sure need therapy. Yeah. Uh, for my final question, I want to ask you, what advice uh, would you give to the younger you? Man, fuck these niggas. <laughs> God. Yeah. Do your thing. Yeah. Do your thing, young know, niggas. Whatever vision you see, you can accomplish it. You don't need nobody to do nothing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to rely on nobody to do nothing. You can do it yourself. Yeah. Just self-confidence is the key, bro. And, like... That goes to all, all all the younger people out there. You know what I'm saying? If you believe in yourself, bro, you can make whatever you want to happen. Whether it's school, fucking music, clothes, being whatever the fuck you want to be. If you confident in yourself, you gonna do it. Yeah. Oh God. No times. Do you have any final words for the people before you get out of here? Shit, man. Much love and respect to all my fans. You know what I'm saying? I got every. I know I'm lagged on the project, but you know what I'm saying? Fuck one project. We got hella projects coming. See, so, you know I'm saying y'all stay tuned. See what I got in store. You know what I mean? Uh. Only only way up from only way up from down is up. You know what I'm saying? So we going up. Off tops. Phoenix flexing. I appreciate okay. you. One hundred. You're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell.